Welcome to Mondays with Mark. If you're watching on Facebook, please share our program so all your friends can watch along with you. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a Mondays with Mark. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Mondays with Mark this week over at MarkLowry.com. We have a $50 plus shipping special. It's all my six pack DVDs, if you still have a DVD player. And you get Dogs Go to Heaven, my latest DVD, for free. So you get seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven DVDs for 50 bucks. Have you ordered yours, Colleen? I haven't yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's your coronavirus? Oh, Lord. Can you believe it? But we're not going to think about it. Somebody was upset with me on YouTube saying it's um, it's end times and I don't take it serious. You know what? Jesus said not to worry about nothing. He's, look at Matthew 6. He said, look at the birds. They're free and unfettered, not tied down to a job description, careless in the care of God. And you count far more to him than birds. So wash your hands. Stay away from people. <laughs> keep your distance as best you can. <clears throat> and hello, everybody coming in. And we're so glad you're here with us. See, that's, I knew the Lord was going to use social media because we can reach the world right here in the safety and luxury of my home and say hello to all of you. Look at there, all you coming in from Lexington. Hello, Lexington and Angela Marshall over there on YouTube. Let's see who else is here. Carolyn McGuire on Facebook. Hello, Carolyn. That come through? Oh, they're coming through. Love the green, that's right. It's St. Patty's Day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's why we're wearing green, right? Yeah. Except we're, Philip. And we're going to pinch him because he's, he's not wearing get his pinched. green. <laughs> and we got a lot to talk about. A uh, lot to... Hello, Hannah. I'm glad you got new glasses. Hello from North. I just love it. You're all coming in. I'm so glad you're with us tonight. Hello, Paula Shepard and Donna Latham Patterson, Patterson. And who's that? Georgia Benz. Hi, hi, hi. I hope you're safe. I hope you're watching in the luxury of your home. And we're going to sing a little bit. We not we don't rehearse much. You know, that's we're no, we're no Bill Gaither trio or the Rambos. Which one was as I travel each way? Well, as I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely through the sinking sand. It is the Christ of Calvary. This would be my prayer, dear Lord, each day to help me do the best I can. For I need thy light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Sing it with us. Well, Jesus, hold my hand. I need thee every hour. I need thee every hour. Through this pilgrim land. Through this pilgrim land. Protect me by thy power. Jesus, hold my hand. Here we go. Well, let me travel in the light divine that I may see thy blessed way. Keep me that I may be holy thine and sing redemption song someday. I will be a soldier brave and true at every firm take a stand as I onward go and daily meet the flow blessed Jesus hold my hand sing y'all Jesus hold my hand I need the every hour through this pilgrim land through this pilgrim land protect me by the Jesus, 
Jesus, hold my hand. Now, did y'all sing that? Yes. In the Pentecostal church? We sure did. Did you sing this one? Give me an A flat. Huh? Philip, did you sing it? We sure did. Can y'all hear Philip back there? He sings so soft. To be a Pentecostal, you sure sing soft. <laughs> Give me a little sister urchin. <laughs> you were doing it early. Early. I love those Pentecostal women. They could have those deep voices like Dottie Rambo, Sister Urshan, I guess. Uh, all right, here we go, A-flat. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Sing it. Are you washed in the blood of the soul? In the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? So lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Everybody say, are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Well, are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Spotless are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Ireland's checking in. Looky there. Hello, David Linhan. Lenny Han, I guess it is from Ireland. Hello. Ireland. Anybody else? I hope you're safe over there in Ireland. Uh, I love that song too, Connie. Connie said she loves that song. Richard Carr, thank you, Richard. Love you too, buddy. Stay safe. Everybody stay inside. What's some other... Oh, my, my 95 dad's favorite song, Unclouded Day. Can you sing that? Uh, oh, they tell me... Is that how that goes? Unclouded Day. How's that go? That's right. Oh, they tell me of the home Far beyond the sky Oh, they tell me of the home far away. Oh, they tell me that no sin ever enters there. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Oh, the land of cloudless day. Yeah. Oh, the land of an unclouded sky. Oh, they tell me of a home where no snow beyond the sky. Something. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Y'all, I hadn't thought of that one. Tell your 95 year old daddy. I said, that is fantastic. 1,444 of y'all have tuned in. 45 have tuned in. What do y'all want to hear? Let's keep singing. Why not? Sing our blues away. We can't get out of the house. We might as well just sing. Mm -hmm. I am clean. Bow down. I don't know that one, Denise. And I'm actually wa Andrew Greer's watching. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Maybe you'll get saved tonight. Oh, hey, y'all. Tonight at 8, 8 o'clock tonight, we are premiering season three of Dinner Conversations. You notice I have a water bottle instead of a glass of tea. Because I spilt my tea all over my computer like that. We'll put the lid on it. But anyway, at 8 o'clock tonight, <laughs> Dinner Conversations, I'm going to show you. Lisa Harper is the special guest. And let's see. I'm washing the blood of the lamb. Yes, I was 11. When a blessed journey to 66. Starberry, Hello. Glad you're washed in the blood of the Lamb. Isn't it good to be forgiven, knowing God loves you and He likes you? 
He'd rather die than spend eternity without you. He'd rather die for you. You have beautiful sin. Oh, thank you, Trudy Stevenson. Thank you. Uh, North Carolina, Allison Hill, Annette Roland Lawson, all Rick Clear from Atlanta. All y'all, and everybody's inside. We got a big crowd. See, I knew if God sent a good virus, we'd get us a crowd. <laughs> oh, Stay at home crowd. But give me Jesus. We just want to thank you. Let's sing a little bit of that one. What key is that in? Jesus, we just want to thank you. George Yaunt singing that one? That was a good one. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Mm -mm. I remember George Yaunt. Uh, I think Kirk Talley wrote that. Thank you, Lord. There's a sweet. I love that one. Sweet spirit in this place. And I know. expressions on your face there are sweet expressions on each face on each face and I know they feel the presence of the Lord sweet Holy Spirit sing it y'all Everybody sing, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here with us, filling us.
God's good, everybody. He's Amen. good. You know what? Even if you've got coronavirus, God is good. I had a preacher's wife one day ask me, and she's precious. I love her. And she meant well. But she said, Mark, because Katrina had just come through, I think it was, and mm. blown a bunch of houses in Galveston into the ocean and the Gulf. And she asked me, because I had a house down there. And she said, Mark, do you think God spared your home in Galveston because you've uh, sung for him all your life and you and I think thinking oh boy I don't think I said you know what probably those people that lost their homes they may love Jesus more than I ever could and I don't think my belief that God is good uh, is dependent upon some nails holding some boards together through a storm God is good whether my house falls into the ocean or not God is good mm -hmm. And if God is good if I get the coronavirus or if I don't, God is good. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. That's what the, uh, J the guy, Job, you know, that guy, he had a tough time. At least we're not, we don't have boils all over our bodies. And our friends telling us just to cuss God and die. Or was that the wife? No, the wife, yeah. And you know what's interesting about Job? God took all his kids, or let Satan, right, take all his kids and left that mean woman. Left her. She, the wife, she said, why don't you just cuss God and die? He mm -hmm. said, you talk like a foolish woman. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. And so Satan left the one thing that he could still use, and that was that wife. But you know what? God got her back because she had to have 20 more kids because God blessed Job with twice as many kids as before, <laughs> and she had to birth them. <laughs> That's my little Bible study for today. So in everything, give him thanks. In I everything. love that song. Hey, y'all. talks about Job. Bella had surgery mm. and today, and she's doing good. She, she tore out her ACL jumping off the couch. She still thinks she's three, but she's 11 and or 10, 10 or 11 and so shit. But she's doing good. Thank y'all for thinking about her. Bubba's out of the hospital. Y'all prayed for Bubba. He's doing well. Yes, His thank liver's the Lord. better. He's better. And uh, I need to tell you about the dinner coming. And Travis Cottrell. Oh, y'all, you're going to love this guy. This guy is so in love with Jesus. He travels with Beth Moore, the female preacher who doesn't call herself a preacher because she's Baptist, but we're going to tell it all tonight. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we ain't going to tell nothing. Nobody watches this. But I'm going to show you the dinner conversation. Oh, Andrew Greer says, get back to singing. You just worry about your show, and I'll worry about mine, huh, oh, Colleen? that's right. Andrew. Andrew. We love you, Andrew. We do love but you, But at 8 o'clock tonight, uh, yeah, we're going to be premiering season three with Lisa Harper. In fact, here is a little commercial. Have we said everything we want to say? Yeah. Here's a little commercial. Oh, look, here's some sound effects. <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, here's a little commercial. Well, where is it? Hold on, y'all. Right here. Just a little one. We'll be right back with Travis Cottrell. If anybody deserves to wear an orphan spirit, it would be my little girl. My girl would come busting here right now and be like, hey, Mr. Mark, nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah, y'all have a plate for me. She's, She's just like, <laughs> she has such a strong sense of self that I think, isn't it a who that God would take a woman who's a Bible teacher who memorized Greek and Hebrew in seminary, so I'd sound smart wait, so wait. justify myself. Wait, stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you memorize? Oh, just a few words to sound smart. Oh. Not that much. A few words of what? I thought you got... Greek and Hebrew from seminary. It, it, you know, so people yeah. will be like, oh, she's such a deep oh, Christian. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. But yet I struggle with the orphan spirit. Right. My little girl mm -hmm. from Haiti, who was an orphan, mm -hmm. there's no orphan. She doesn't smell like an orphan, look like an orphan, act like an orphan. It's wow. like, yeah, my, she calls God, her daddy was with, um, she calls human daddy's daddies with skin on and God, daddy, God. She's like, my daddy, God thinks I'm the bomb. I'm like, yeah, he does. But how cool that what he that, took an orphan to lift the orphan spirit yeah, off. Yeah, what yeah. if that was a specific gift to you? I what think if it was. Missy was literally I, she I was. absolutely think it was. We're here. We're here. Hello, hello, hello. Let oh, me, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait. Let me get me on. There we go. Now we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. There you are. Travis. Hey. 
We're not li- we're not on. We're now, on right? now. We're live. The people are watching. No, they're not. Really? Yes, they are. Listen, y'all, I wanted to read something to start us off. <laughs> I hear a fan. Is there a fan blowing? Here? Yeah. No. Okay. Can everybody hear at home good? Okay. I'm going to go. I should have had this ready, but I can't. I need a producer. Travis. Y'all can all do this, too. Cotro. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to go to your Wikipedia page. And I wonder, I read this today, because you can learn a lot about a guy on Wikipedia. <laughs> Come on. Why is my thing Listen, so slow? Mark, yeah. I'm so, I'm so bitter that my my trip down there got canceled because I've been, I've been here at my house singing bass with y'all this whole time. Have you been singing I'm, the whole time? Yes, I knew every song. Oh, I'd love that. Well, you, you know, or Mr. When I first met Travis, it was on Dinner Conversations. He came to do a Dinner Conversations about praise and worship music. And, um, oh, let's see. The people are saying stuff. Please pray for Portugal. Okay. Um, and so I got to know him, but I didn't really know him. But let me read. Listen, he was raised in Boone, North Carolina. That is the belt of the southern gospel buckle right there isn't it right it is listen i went to high school with um tony green yeah singing greens i went to high school with mylon hayes of the hayes family um i sang in choir with mylon hayes well you know them all well how did you end up out in the world of contemporary christian music how did you stray so far from god Well, y'all, you might know some of his songs, Alive Forever, Amen, Jesus Saves. You stole that title, but that's a good one. But that song, (laughs) your song, Jesus Saves, is quite amazing. I listened to it today. Uh, To the King, His Name is Jesus, Heaven's Hope. I talked to Jeff Bennett, my good friend, who's uh, one of the music directors at uh, one of the second Baptist oh, campuses, yeah. Yeah. and he, yeah, he speaks so highly of you and was telling me all of your songs and how many of them you, uh, his choir has done of your songs, but also you were telling me today that you're the Susan Lucci of the Dove Awards. <laughs> pretty much. That's, that's pretty much true. You were nominated 25 times and you've won twice. Yes, I've lost 23 times. Did you ever think, okay, after 23 times, I'm not even going to go this year. And that would be the year you won? I I stopped going, but the last, let's see, I don't think I went this past year, but I went a couple years ago to take my daughter. Um, I told, I I took her as my date, but yeah. Yeah, but whatever, you know, you know (laughs) what what that is. I was there the year that, um, uh, what was that great line? Um, was it was it Sandy? You you presented with Sandy, and she got you. It was a real oh, she singer. Nailed me. I was in this uh, stupid suit. I wore crazy clothes back then. I don't know what I was thinking. It was like a Dalmatian <laughs> suit, and she was in a sparkly gown. And I just said, "I bet that." makes a racket in the dryer or something like that and she said i don't know how you'd hear it above that suit is that what you're talking about (laughs) (laughs) that's what i'm talking about i was there when that happened that was awesome (laughs) Uh, she's something i love it so much well tell me tell me about how you got from boone to here seriously let for people who've never heard of travis give us the give us the cliff notes well, you know, music was always a part of my life. My um, my parents were, you know, they sang in the choir. My siblings sang in the choir at church. I was raised in a small uh, Baptist church there in Boone, North Carolina. My sister, Kathy, who's out there watching, because she was just texting me. She thought I was literally there, and she didn't know I was. She said, are you waiting backstage? And I was like, <laughs> no, I'm waiting on my piano bench. Um, she was my only piano teacher. So my, my parents were 45 and 40 when I was born. Oh, really? So I was raised with, with teenagers for siblings, and I just grew up in church music. I like to tell people that I, I knew the name um, Bill Gaither before anybody ever should, like at an unhealthy age. <laughs> they should have called me P.S. But, um, you know, my first memory as a child is, is sitting in the back of our church uh, sanctuary, listening to uh, my qu- my choir in my old home church sing Alleluia, that oh, musical wow. Alleluia. 
Yeah. And so I just grew up loving Jesus and um, loving music. And my love for each just kind of grew at the same time. And when I was 16, I went to Ridgecrest and I, I knew the Lord was calling me to some kind of music. But, you know, in the 80s, like what, are, what were our options? We, we, if you're from a small town, and it's the 80s. It's like if you feel called to music, what does it mean? Right. I mean, like you're either gonna be a music teacher or a bivocational worship leader. Right. You know, I, I didn't really get it. And I, I walked into a camp at Ridgecrest and there was a guy leading the music there. And I walked in. It was like the Lord said, that is what you're that's what you're supposed to do. And I walked up to him and I said, uh, where, where did you go to college? That was the only question I asked. I didn't introduce myself or ask anything about him, except I just walked up to him and said, where did you go to college? He said, Belmont College. And I said, OK, I'm going to Belmont College. And so I went two years to Appalachian State in my hometown, which is a great university. And then I transferred to Belmont and finished school there and just stayed in Nashville Began leading worship at my church there. And and two rivers, right? Rivers, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, so I graduated from college, and it was uh, a couple years later that I met Beth. And we we met at a thing at Two Rivers, and I enjoyed meeting her. She, she was there doing a youth weekend that weekend. That was before she took off or anything. And then a couple of years after that, Lifeway put us together and Lifeway came to me and I had been leading some music for some of their events. And the, the lady there, her name's Faith Watley. She said, Hey, we've got this lady that we're going to do some women's events. We think you should, we, we'd like for you to come lead worship for it. And I was like, for a bunch of women, I, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't know. I didn't know why they were, why they would ask me or I said, yeah, I'll give it a try. And so, uh, yeah, we, we did the, that first year was 1998. Wow. And so we were in our 23rd year. Wow. Beth and Moore. Every state and a few countries. And man, and she's um, she's just amazing. We love working with her so much. You know, she lives right there close to you. Well, I need and, you to help me get her on our program. Because well, <laughs> I've already been chewed out already on on uh, YouTube today because I don't have enough end time prophecy going on here. And I told him, Jesus said, he doesn't know when he's coming back. Why would I be worried about it? You know, he said, only my father knows. He, he didn't he say, I don't know when I'm coming back. Only my father knows. And until John Hagee shows up, ain't nobody going to know. <laughs> and if he doesn't know, how are we going to know? I know it. So I just say, be salt and light till you die or he comes. You know, what are you going to do? Well, you know, Beth grew up playing the piano and singing alto in her church, and nah. she played in the handbell choir, so she could sit right there at that Nord behind you and play some hymns. Well, I wish she would come over anytime. She's welcome to rip that keyboard away from Philip. And you would have been here tonight had coronavirus not kept yep. you away. Yep, We're supposed yeah. to come in an event tomorrow night, but we'll we'll catch it next time. I'm coming back in June. I know it, and I can't wait. And I want you to sit here and on that red piano and play all those songs. Let's just see if anybody, since we're live with you, let's see if anybody said, uh, Chair, who's going to do his Christmas concert? I hear someone said, I was singing in the choir at Cherry Hills Community Church at our Christmas concert when you're in our church director. Had Travis via satellite talk to us before we went on stage to sing Thanks. Oh, oh, and that nice. That's nice. I love that. If we got more I see questions. My own choir members are signed on right here. They what? Kind of my choir at Englewood Baptist Church. I see a lot of them signed on here. Are they? Yeah, they are. Well, what they would are. you say to people who are? Because you know, you've. Uh, what, what is Beth saying? What are, What are y'all saying about this? We've never seen anything like what we're seeing right now, right? Right. I mean, I haven't in 61 years, and it may be the end times, or it may just be a virus, you know? I, the thing about it is, does it really matter what it is? I mean, it, if we build up our faith, and if it drives us to trust the Lord, if that's really what it's all about, then we can embrace this as a good thing. We can embrace it as making us more like Jesus, uh, drawing us closer to Him, and... Um, and, and just embrace what he has for us. So, you know, if it, it's come to us, uh, it's come to us by his, you know, either his perfect or, submissive, uh, or permissive will. Here we are in the middle of it. Uh, grow. 
and uh, learn to love him more. And yes, just I, jump into it. I know it. Just jump in and hold on. And when we get to heaven, you know, I went through a tornado. Uh, tornado. I still can't say tornado, right? Tornado on a houseboat one time. And the one thing I learned is that I would have enjoyed it a lot more had I known I was going to live through it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Because it was a riot. If you were assured you were going to live, it was a blast. And if you would look at your life like, we're going to live through this. Let's sit back right. and enjoy it. Oh, we're going right. to live. And one day we're going to get home. We're going to say, you know, I'd have enjoyed that a lot more had I really believed I was going to live through it. Right. But we get so clenched up in fear. Yeah. And we need to take a deep breath, embrace the goodness of God, embrace his promises. They're still as true today as they were yesterday. You know, I love the verse that says all the promises of God are yes and amen. Oh. And so we come in under his under his wing and, uh, you know, just completely submitted to him. And then those promises, they reveal themselves to us as we walk out our faith. And you know what? We're going to look we're going to get to the other side of this and we're going to see how deeply and richly he loved us yeah. through through these dark days. Yeah. Well, I love you, Travis Cottrell. And I love you, I'm Mark. so glad we've you. become best friends. We have. Hey, look, speaking of which, you know, last time we talked, uh, uh, and you were you were showing me all your pictures of your of your dogs. Yeah. Even the ones that have gone before. Right. This one, because I just lost my dog of 17 years back in September, and so I brought this to show you. Look at this. This is my flat. Little Dodson, huh? Well, Dachshund, that's Flash right there. And a sweet lady named Mary in my choir drew, uh, drew this for me uh, about a day after Flash died. Look at my that. Goodness, let me make a big shot of that. Hold on. Look, Look at, at that. That's oh Flash. Oh, my goodness. That is oh, I, I, fantastic. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, well, she is talented. I know. That looks like a photograph. I <laughs> know. Wow. Yeah. Well, everybody's well, I, everybody's just saying they're uh, just people are just so I'm just so glad people are tuned in tonight to, to learn more about your ministry. And you can Google, go to YouTube and, and just type in Travis Cottrell, C-O-T-T-R-E-L-L, -L, and a bunch of music will come up. And the really the one with his daughter, the one oh, I'm talking like like y'all can see me, uh, the, one, <laughs> the one with your daughter. Uh, tell them about tell them yeah. about your daughter, the one that sings. Well, it looks just like I've you got, with a wig. Right, I've got three kids. My oldest son is Jack, and have I have we talked about this, Mark? That my oldest son is getting married in May, and he's marrying Gordon Moat's daughter, Samantha. Did you know that? We did talk. Oh, well, I remember that now. I, I'd forgotten. Yeah, so they're getting married in May, and then I've got a younger son who's seventeen. He's the one that just passed right behind me sneak in real fast like yeah. if like we were going to see him and then my daughter is, is in the middle and she's a freshman at lee university and she actually got to be on mondays with mark before i did because she, was, she was in was, voices of lee yeah so she was there and she travels and sings with us my wife and all of our team um we we lead worship at living proof and so lily's been doing some recording with us and i think um the first thing you heard was our version of Mary Did You Know. Do you know you know that song? I've heard it, yeah. Mary Did You Know. <laughs> and she did a fantastic job of it, too, by the way. Thank you. Well, Thanks so much. Well, <laughs> Dee Peterson 74 said, why don't you lead us in a little worship? You're sitting there at that keyboard, uh, aren't you? Yeah. Go ahead and lead us into something. Act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's sing this together. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Thank you. 
trust him more lyrics they matter don't they they do matter and those ones that uh you know it's interesting when you i, w I was thinking today i was like I, I bet we're gonna we may sing a little bit and i was thinking what can we sing that will just build up people's faith and encourage people yeah. and yeah. and help people uh just kind of uh just refocus on the things that matter and it's those songs you know those songs that are embedded in our hearts that have been embedded there for a long time. We get in, we get in those rough times and when we're squeezed, you know, <laughs> what's really in there, what pops out and from our hearts are those songs just like that. I'm telling you, when you're having your MRI, that's what I always say. Because I remember when I was having my MRI, it was blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine that kept my heart from running away from me. Because, um, you know, it was scary. They were looking for MS at the time. So I always, it's all those hymns of my youth that I go back to. Yeah. Thank I you for it. bringing that to our attention tonight. Oh, amen. Happy to do it. And I can't so wait happy. till you're here in person. We're going to let you just run loose and lead us. <laughs> and and, and the, the virus will be behind us. We'll wonder why we were so worried. Won't we, Colleen? Colleen's sitting over here. Yeah, we will. We will. And uh, thank you, Travis, for for being my special guest tonight. And I, I was so looking forward to taking you to Cleburne Cafeteria. <laughs> well, they'll be there in June. They, so will I. They will. All right. God bless you, buddy. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. It's just us again. Colleen wanted to... Say a few more things before we left the air. Get over here, Colleen. Oh my. Come on. I'm on green Come on. Or Are we green screening? Looks I, like I, it. No, I don't. Oh, it is. Why is that? Y'all, give me a yes. second. Isn't that strange? Let me uh, fix that. <laughs> camera effects. Where are the camera? I can't seem to. Well, we just have to be green screening, I guess. I don't understand. Well, anyway, so you isn't were saying. Isn't that funny? That, isn't it weird? That I can't find the. Hold on. I'm going to find it. Y'all, y'all aren't going anywhere, are you? <laughs> uh, I don't understand why you're green screening and I'm not. But what we got to do is find the... Yeah, you're blue. See, I your know. shirt's blue. Gonna, it was supposed to be oh, camera effects. I don't understand it. Oh, well, how about that? well that's the horrible camera. Anyway, let's talk on the well, horrible camera. Well, that was funny. You were talking about your MRI. Yeah. Because today I finally had mine. Remember, I was supposed oh, to yeah, go you... last Friday, and right. the technician canceled. So I guess, you know, the scare. But anyway, I had that today, and I was doing the same thing. It, when you go through those MRIs, it is so noisy. Yeah. And I was like, I was like making a rap song to the boop, 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 to the beat of the it is scary. MRI. It is. You just close your eyes and l have to listen, even though they give you earplugs. But yeah, I hopefully, I'm praying that all that'll. I don't understand will. why I, why I can't seem to find the window. Bring all to front, and it should be there. 
Hmm. I don't see it. Give me one more second. Okay, y'all. I can't figure this out. So, until next week. I don't even know who I... Oh, oh, oh. I saw the dinner. I saw the... Uh, I showed the dinner conference. Okay. I'm, yeah. Wow. Okay. Colleen. <laughs> His You're son, a brick wall. His son has bricks on her shirt. Understand. Can you see you both? I can see you both just fine. Look, she's saying. <laughs> I'm a brick I wall. I imagine big angels around me when I had my MRI. Well, that's a good thing to do, Jana. <laughs> All right, y'all. We will see you house. next week. <laughs> and remember, 8 o'clock tonight on the Dinner Conversations YouTube channel, we will be premiering uh, Dinner Conversations. I know I see it. Dinner Conversations Season 3. See you at 8 o'clock on the Dinner Conversations YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in to Mondays with Mark. We'll see you next Monday night, 7 p.m. Central, right here, wherever you saw our program. YouTube, be sure and like us and ring the bell. Facebook, please share our program. And we will see you next Monday night, 7 p.m. Central, for another Mondays with Mark.